Hey, what are you looking at? A map of the U.S. so we can tell people where to go. We're the Youngs. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois, to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. Hello, welcome Hi. back to Traveling Young. And uh, we just got to say, we had a video posted on Tuesday that technically was after the live stream. Yes. But this is the first one we've recorded since the live stream. Yes. And we just have to say that was such a cool experience. Yeah, we experience. had such a good time. You guys made it so awesome. And at, we had so much fun answering your questions and stuff. I, I feel like we could have gone on for hours, but. Yeah. Uh, the technical problems were slightly annoying, but it was still cool. And as you'll notice while we're recording, yes. Brisket has fallen in love with his stairs. He's going to go <laughs> up and down about 20 times while I, we're talking. I knew that that was a good purchase. I just knew it. <laughs> yeah. So what we want to talk about today are some of our favorite places in America, sticking with the theme of uh, things last we miss, time we talked yeah. about things we missed. Now it's kind of places that we miss. Yeah. Um, and keep in mind, this is our opinion. There's tons of places that yeah. people like that we also like that we're not going to say just because yeah. we've got to have a limit. Um, so don't worry. There's <laughs> other great places there. These are places we've been. But we're yeah, and these are places are we've been. Favorite. But we're happy to also say we're not big fans of New York. So we'll yeah. be very clear on that one. Not big New York fans, <laughs> no. and I've been there a ton. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, but what we will say is, let's start with um, our favorite place that's nature related, yeah. and that's going to be Colorado. Colorado is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's yeah. just so beautiful. We've I've been two or three times, I guess, and uh, I went to baseball games there. Also, uh, north, there's Fort Collins, which is a really, really good place for getting microbrew. There's tons mm. of really good breweries there, so as a beer fan, go up north a little bit and go to Fort Collins, but out west... You can go to Aspen mm. and uh, and Rockies, and I mean, we went to a music festival out there in Snowmass that was ridiculous, and did hiking in gorgeous places. I mean, Colorado was incredible, and we've said that if we ever moved back to the U.S., that would be a place that we would consider going because all my friends that move there yeah. are just love it. Yeah, and when we went out to the music festival, that was the first time I had ever been out to the Rockies, and it is one of those places that you can't believe it's real. It is. The Rockies are so unbelievably huge, and and it's just mind blowing. And everything looks like a postcard, so it's it's absolutely amazing. Um, our next place is our big city pick, and since we've already said we don't like New York, we actually also don't really like LA. We've been out there too, um, so we're of course going to pick Chicago. <laughs> and Chicago is one of those underrated cities. It is amazing. You get that big city feel. You get the the tall buildings, the city blocks, the amazing architecture, all of the history and stuff, but it's a bit smaller and the people are super friendly and there's tons and tons of good food. In the summertime, it's right there by the lake. It is absolutely gorgeous. You've got amazing museums. The Field Museum is there. It's one of the largest uh, history museums in the country. Um, you've got Shedd Aquarium. You can easily take one of the trains out to the suburbs and see places like Oak Park, where the Frank Lloyd Wright homes are. You can go out to Brookfield, actually where we used to live, and go to a really amazing zoo. Um, it's just a great place. Oh, and uh, just to mention, if you're a book reader, a really cool book about Chicago is Devil in the White City. Oh, you have to read Devil in the White City. You made me think it would mention the Field Museum because yes. it's about the World's Fair that was there. Super good book. Yeah. It's like this parallel story amazing of this book. guy who was like a serial killer. And at the same time, they were planning the World's Fair, and yeah. he was taking advantage of <laughs> all these people coming to the World's Fair. And the Field Museum is what became the World's Fair, basically all the things that came yeah. to the World's Fair that didn't leave, the artifacts and stuff that were on display from different countries and stuff, yeah. stayed, and that became the Field Museum. So it's really connected to this World's Fair from like 1893 or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. and actually um, if you go to the Museum of Science and Industry, that is the only remaining building from the 1893 World's Fair. Well, they rebuilt There's pieces of it. Of it but but that was one of the buildings. Cool yeah. city. Yeah. Great book. Yeah. Um, and we just love it there. And also outside the city, there's cool stuff like Frank Lloyd Wright House that you can see. Yeah. And also uh, Thomas Dambo has some trolls yes. at the Morton Arboretum that's outside the city. Yeah. Love Chicago. And before we moved there, we would just go all the time because yeah. my brother lived there. And, and we that's just how we fell in love. love with it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. 
Um, so our next pick was probably not going to be a big surprise either, <laughs> which is our favorite medium-sized city, and that's going to be Nashville. I mean, it's just yeah. such a great time. We talked about it because we did a video about us living in Tennessee and what it's like there, but I would highly recommend going, especially if you're a music fan. We have friends that are Danish and Swedish here that have gone yeah. to music festivals and stuff there because it's just such a great music town. We obviously have close friends, so we love going for that reason, but I know a ton of people that have gone that don't have friends and still love it. And it's not a go, very expensive yeah. city, um, and it's not very big. It's very navigable, yeah. um, but there's great food, um, great music. There's sports as well. They have a, a football team, and they have an MLS team, and they have a hockey, hockey team. team. So there's a bunch of other things to do besides music, but it's just a great town. Yeah, and you have to go and see Mother Church, the Ryman Auditorium, so you catch a show there if you, if you go. Our next place, we're gonna work our way down, um, and our favorite small city is actually Savannah, Georgia. And Savannah is really one of the most beautiful cities in the United States. It sits right on the coast of Georgia, and it has all these amazing, really well-preserved historic homes. So if you love history, Savannah is definitely a place to go. It's still, it's like stepping back in time. It has all of these beautiful, um, oak tree lined streets that have all this cool Spanish moss kind of hanging off of them um, which does make it a little creepy at night which makes sense because it's supposed to be America's most haunted city so you can actually take a ton of ghost tours when you're there um, but they've actually there's a lot to do there also has great food and quite a few movies have actually been filmed there Forrest Gump was filmed there so that scene where he's sitting on the bench waiting to get the bus that was actually filmed um, in one of the parks there in Savannah. And uh, actually one of uh, our other favorite movies is My Night in the Garden of Good and Evil, which actually it's better to read the book because the book is absolutely amazing. It's such a, it's a kind of a murder mystery, I guess, um, but it's really, really good. And it also talks about Tybee Island, uh, which is out on the coast, um, which is another place that you can easily get to from Savannah. Yeah, we've been, uh, I think two or three times. Um, one time we went just to Savannah. Other times we were close and stopped by for like a day. Yeah. Um, but it is just a really, really cool place. Yeah. And just steps back into what was, you know, old, old built, you know, houses and stuff and homes back in. Uh, old for us. You know, for us. <laughs> for us, old, 100 plus year old yeah. homes. And uh, it is just a gorgeous place yeah. and very cool to see. Um, so our next place is. Um, is going to be a sports city. Now, I know it's debatable on the best sports cities out there. I mean, <laughs> San Francisco, L.A. is an okay sports city. St. Louis is actually a really cool sports city. Obviously, Chicago, New York, bleh. But what we're going to say is what's cool about Boston and sports is I'm not a supporter of any Boston sports team at all, but I've been to a couple different games, and I always enjoyed it because yeah. the fans appreciate the game. I've been to so many baseball games, probably four or five there, Fenway Park is the oldest yeah. stadium in baseball from 1913. It is a very unique place, a unique design. It feels just special when you go inside. Um, but also fans there pay attention to every second of the game, even yeah. though the game is like three hours long and there are moments when even I get bored as a big baseball <laughs> fan. In Boston, people are paying attention to every single pitch. And it's just such a cool, cool atmosphere to see baseball. And it's also just a be beautiful city. I mean, it feels yeah. like a big college campus. It doesn't have big, huge... There's some tall buildings, but it's not like New York or, no. or Chicago in terms of big high rises. It's just a, it's just a really cool, quaint town that's quite large, yeah. but fun and uh, and a great place to see sports. If you have no allegiance to any sports team, <laughs> it's a good place to go to a Bruins game, well, or to support, a Celtics game, or you to a support the Red Sox because they uh, they're Yankees' biggest rivals. Yeah, so. I mean, and I, before the Washington Nationals were in D.C., I was kind of a baseball fan without a team so yeah. I just kind of support a number of different teams basically the places I enjoyed seeing the games the most and that was one of them but then I quickly abandoned any Red Sox anything <laughs> when I got my own team <laughs> yeah and I have to say if you're a couple like us where he really likes to to hit the sports stuff um, and I'm a huge history buff Boston is a great place for to do both of those things because they've got tons and tons of American history there. It's really kind of one of the birthplaces of America. And so uh, you can see all kinds of, uh, you can see Freedom Hall and the, the Constitution. I can't remember the name of the big ship that's there, but there's a big uh, ship that's there in the harbor. Um, they have all kinds of walking paths and stuff. So it's really, really cool city. 
Uh, our last place is going to be a place that we think that you should go, but we also should go because it's some place that we've actually never been um, that we've talked about going, and that's Wyoming. And one of the reasons why we've always wanted to go to Wyoming is because it has Yellowstone National Park, and that is arguably one of the most beautiful national parks that we have in America. Um, and Wyoming has really diverse uh, landscapes. You've got mountains, it's got plains, you can go out and see bison, you can see you know all manner of, of animals and things and um, you can see Old Faithful this really uh, old famous geyser that's out there in Yellowstone so it's just a cool place to be and we've just never gone yeah I've never been to any of those like uh, Montana States. or Wyoming yeah. or the Dakotas or Idaho They're, I've never even been to not Nebraska, easy to get to but yeah. Nebraska or <laughs> what else Iowa I was not far from Chicago yeah. actually and I've never been there I just never had a chance to get to because I focus so much on going to the big cities, but I have a greater appreciation for nature now, yeah. and I really would love to go, and at some point I'm going to definitely spend time exploring all of those, but I will start with Wyoming because it just looks just amazing. amazing. Yeah, and I think our trip to Iceland last year really opened our eyes to how beautiful going to a remote natural scenery can be. Um, and it, and we've always been city people. We've always traveled to cities and, and I think it really changed our minds. So I think if we ever do get the opportunity to go out west and go to those big plains state, I definitely think we'd go someplace like Yellowstone or, or the rest of Wyoming. Yeah. All right, well, that, uh, that's a quick little peek. There's some other places that we love, by the way, like San yeah. Diego mm -hmm. and Arizona. If Meyer were here, she'd probably talk about how much she loves Disney yeah. and Orlando. I'd um, say the Smokies and Dollywood. Of course, but we, had to, <laughs> we wanted to stick to a short list and kind yeah. of, you know, if we were not going to the U.S. to visit family, of course, we would visit them where they're yeah. at, but we would go to one of those places if yeah, we went back for, for sure. other reasons because it's just uh, they're all cool, cool places to go. Um, so there you have it. We've uh, we appreciate everything. Again, the live stream yes. was fantastic. We're gonna. It's so much fun. We absolutely, we'll plan another one because we had such a good time. Yeah. I, I got to figure out when it's gonna be. I would like to do them, you know, more often. Now that I've kind yeah. of buttoned up some of the problems to hopefully make it a little hopefully bit more. Hopefully, no dead air. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have a backup <laughs> camera this time. Uh, but we'll let you know when we plan to do one again. Yeah. We're still gonna go through and and review comments and try to keep track of the things we couldn't answer. Yes. So we can at some point because we'd love to answer more of the questions that there was. Just, it was crazy. We didn't expect there to oh be so gosh, many there were so, things. We so. couldn't keep up with it. It was so much yeah. fun, though. But it was super good, and we appreciate it. And we appreciate absolutely everything. Thank yes. you. We've got some cool things planned. We're going to shoot some special stuff this weekend and a few other things that will come up pretty soon. So yeah. stay tuned. And in the meantime, thank you again for everything. We appreciate it, thank and you. we shall see you later. Bye-bye.